Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden Player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing former outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Greg Lloyd, primarily playing in the 1990s. He was a five-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro player, and played in Pittsburgh for 10 years and played in Carolina for the last year of his career back in 1998. was part of that 1995 Super Bowl run for the Pittsburgh Steelers all the way against the Dallas Cowboys, who unfortunately they lost 27-17. And that defensive line that the Pittsburgh Steelers had in terms of pass rushers, combination of Greg Lloyd and Ke Kevin Green on both ends, outside linebackers, rushing the quarterback among the best Pittsburgh Steelers that ever had. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get the victory over the Dallas Cowboys. But creating Greg Lloyd today, this was a suggestion by a Play, or by a viewer, excuse me, by a viewer on the channel did suggest me to do Greg Lloyd and a lot of, you know, big time Cowboys, Steelers fans always want me to do those, you know, old time players, which I have no problem with, along with teams like the Chicago, with the Chicago Bears. So we're doing Greg Lloyd today, who actually has had a presence in the Madden universe, Madden Ultimate Team 16. Greg Lloyd was introduced for the first time in Ultimate Team, to my knowledge, and, you know, he was given a card, and then obviously as the year progressed was given an ultimate team a legend card or an ultimate legend card so I'm going to be creating him today just to showcase how to do it and whether you're playing Madden 18 or future Maddens to create Greg Lloyd uh, starting out for the face right here and one of the craziest things actually about Greg Lloyd we'll get to that in a little bit I guess but when you talk about one of the more intimidating figures of the game Greg Lloyd's definitely up there on that list as other players that were intimidating that I've done already I would consider Lawrence Taylor and um, Dick Butkus as two guys that are really big, uh, intimidating players in NFL history. I believe I've also done Jack Lambert. If I'm not, uh, I'm pretty certain I've done Jack Lambert. So those three guys, right off the top of my head, incredibly intimidating players that I actually have done videos on on how to create those guys. So uh, be, be aware of that on the channel if you guys are looking for more players like that with kind of the intimidating factor defensively especially a lot of the defensive players are like that and are considered more intimidating uh, than offensive guys for the most part that's just kind of how it, it seems to work out done some really great linebackers as well in the past Ray Nitschke uh, I believe obviously Dick Buckus Jack Lambert um, and hopefully try to get some more Brian Erlacher in there Ray Lewis like I mentioned so definitely some good guys but we're gonna go into, into the equipment for Greg Lloyd here in a second unfortunately for Greg Lloyd, what was really frustrating, it's always frustrating for a lot of guys, I'm sure for Steelers fans in the 90s, extremely uh, unfortunate. Although, you know, he was hitting his late 30s a little bit, knee injuries did begin to plague Greg Lloyd, and he ended up retiring, you know, maybe a little bit earlier than I think he thought, you know, he was still being able to, you know, produce some good numbers uh, in the prime of his career, but just, you know, not quite enough, um, you know, juice left in him, he had some injury issues, so... You know, he wasn't a Kevin Green that played for 15 years, played 10 years for Pittsburgh, uh, and, and that's a lot of great time for one city that he, that he contributed for. Um, but, you know, that's just another issue that a lot of guys have. And also in the ratings, when you look at the injury, I, I do, I think, I put it all the way up to 99. You can change that if you want. Oftentimes I just do that because it just, I, I feel like the injury rating is kind of like hard to uh, key in on. Sometimes I think it's kind of pointless. I don't really feel like it's good for players to get hurt in the video game universe unless you're playing in like a franchise mode but uh, back onto the equipment point I never even saw that grid helmet option before today I, I've been looking at helmets and I I, know, I had known going into creating these videos in uh, Madden 18 the Madden player creation tutorial videos that you actually do have the option of of adding these new helmets and implementing these new face uh, face mask features into the game you know they added some stuff this year but I didn't think that they had the speed grid like that and it's not completely authentic to what Greg Lloyd wore when he played but it, it's pretty close because he had a, a kind of a crazy face mask in terms of the grid that he had going the only thing that isn't authentic when it comes to that is the fact that he also had a bar from the top down kind of dividing you know splitting his head in half I guess uh, in the helmet and, and that just wasn't an option unfortunately but I did want to get that grid involved um, again, you can change it however you want. There's another face mask option uh, in, I, I think, Zenith, maybe. I can't recall which brand or whatever it was, but there is one where you do have a bar kind of going down the middle. I like I kind of like the grid look, though, so I just went with that for Greg Lloyd. 
th there is some features of Greg Lloyd that I, I kind of wish I could have implemented, but I just couldn't. And one of them was a little bit of an elevated shoulder pad level. I probably should have elevated the shoulder pads a little bit more. It is really tough to kind of get it exact to real life, but that is one option that you could have changed, you know, increasing the height of the shoulder pads. But other than that, I think it, it, it was a pretty good job on my behalf of trying to key in on how he looked uh, as much as I could. And here we go with the ratings for Greg Lloyd again. He's always been subjective, but I do like to use the previous Madden Ultimate Team game player card ratings as a reference for these ratings that I do on the videos. So just you know keep that in mind. And these are very close to what they have on the Madden 16 overall, 94 overall base card, I believe, in Madden 16. So just keep that in mind again. That's basically what I'm basing all of this on. So change it to your liking, but that basically will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 18 content as well as these player creation tutorial videos. This one was actually really well timed. I just did the Kevin Green video and those guys were teammates. Um, you know, Rod Woodson joked about actually in the Kevin Green documentary of A Football Life how, you know, they talked about Kevin Green and Greg Lloyd as being salt and pepper, you know, the, the one white pass rusher, I guess, and the black one on the other side one on each side just dominating the opposing offensive line units and that's a pretty crazy tandem to have and obviously that's why they were so good and you know they both led their team to a Super Bowl unfortunately weren't able to beat Dallas but those 90s Cowboys were pretty difficult to beat uh, as I'm sure a lot of people know they won three in the 90s so uh, but that will be the conclusion of the video once again hopefully you guys enjoyed keep on giving me suggestions for players although we have a lot right now that I still have to get to I'm trying to diversify the video content a little bit gonna try to get some more playbook and play videos out maybe some gameplay uh but we'll see what happens but once again hope you guys enjoyed the video and yep thanks for watching